Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Outlook can also assist you in planning meetings by sending out invitations to the attendees. These requests are called meeting requests. The recipients of your meeting request will receive an email message in which they must click a button that indicates if they will be attending the meeting. The response that they send is then recorded and stored by Outlook, so in the future you can open the meeting request on your calendar to view their responses. To plan a meeting, open the calendar folder and then select Actions from the menu bar and choose Plan a Meeting. The Plan a Meeting dialog box will then be displayed. You use this dialog box to specify whom to invite to the meeting. One way to invite attendees is to click into the boxes at the left side of the dialog box that contain the words click here to add a name and then enter the email address of the person you wish to invite to the meeting into the box. You would then press enter on your keyboard and repeat this process for all the other attendees. Another way to invite attendees is to click the add others button in this dialog box and then select the add from address book command. Use the address book drop down to select the desired address book that contains the contacts that you wish to invite. Then select the names that you wish to invite from the list in the Select Attendees and Resources dialog box and click one of the following buttons. Required, which means the selected attendee is required for the meeting. Optional, which means that the selected attendee can come if they want. Or resources, which is used to designate time that a specific resource is requested for use, like a particular room in your office. It's important to note that the organizer of the meeting is always listed as a required attendee. You can repeat this process until you've invited all the attendees and selected all the resources. Then click the OK button when you're finished inviting the meeting attendees to return to the Plan a Meeting dialog box. Now to select a start date and a start time for the meeting, click the drop down arrow to the right of Meeting Start and select a date from the calendar drop down. Then choose a time from the time drop down. Then do the same thing for the meeting end. Now make sure that the attendees that you have invited aren't busy during the time selected. You can see how they've marked their time in their calendars at the right side of this dialog box for the time that you've selected. And while you cannot see what they are actually doing, you can see how they have indicated the time that is available in their calendars. So if they're busy, you could try and find the first free time available for all the selected attendees. One way to do that is to click the Auto Pick Next button at the bottom of this dialog box. Outlook will then try to select the next available free period of the duration specified in which all of the attendees are available. So finally, once you have the information, just click the Make Meeting button to display the meeting window. Here you'll need to type a short description of the meeting into the subject text box and enter a location for the meeting into the location text box. Feel free to enter any additional notes about the meeting into the lower half of the meeting window and then click the send button on the meeting window to send the meeting request to the selected recipients. You can then click the close button in the plan a meeting dialog box to close it.